Shalom. Call Halal Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who taught me this truth and rule well. Salutations to the brothers out there that are laboring and pushing this truth in truth and in sincerity and in charity and risking their lives and their freedom to do so. To you I say Shalom. To the Akiam and to the Akwaf. Love to you, brothers and sisters. Adawan Rataza. That is to say, Lord willing. Hopefully, by the end of this video, this lesson, you'll be edified. This is your brother Amawan Ibad. Back again with another lesson to the spirit and power of Yahweh by Hashim. Yahweh by Hashim Yahweh Shai. By Hashim Rakakadash. To feed the lambs of Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai? Okay, as commanded. So this one is going to be in transit. You know, we just rolling through the spirit, extemporaneously shooting from the hip side, so to speak. You know. Um. Once again, much going on. You know, whole lot is going on. We in that time, you know, the latter days, you know, as it says in uh, 2 Timothy 3 and 1, and this know also that in the last days, perilous times shall come, you know, and we in those times, we in those times, you know, you got to know that, you know, you got to be, you got to be, um, you got to be circumspect, man, because perilous times means bad times, you know? Perilous times, straits, hard times. We got um, tribulation that's gonna that's gonna come on the earth, you know. So you gotta be um, you gotta be circumspect, man. As the book says in the um, second Salakia, as in the book says in Ephesians, chapter uh, five and verse fifteen. You know, walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise. Redeeming the time because the days are evil. That word evil is a compound word when you break it down. You know, Eve meaning time and ill meaning bad. Bad times, you know. Perilous times. We're in the latter days. You know. You have you have a a, a new president. You know, they said they have a new president, Joe Biden. You have a president, Trump, who is not conceding who haven't conceded as yet. So who knows what's going to happen between now and um, January 20th of 2021. You know? You know, you got people threatening strikes and, you know, you got truck drivers talking about circling D.C. and not delivering the usual delivery and all type of things. You know, who knows? Who knows? Who knows? You know, who knows? <laughs> but hey, <laughs> the word of the Lord is going forward, man. The word of the Lord is going forward. All right? The word of the Lord is going forward. Ain't nothing going to stop these prophecies from going forward. And that's, that's, that's for sure. Let me grab a scripture real quick. This is the book of uh, Isaiah, chapter 34. And um, verse 16, right? And it says, Seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read, no one of these shall fail. Okay, when it says no one of these shall fail, it's talking about the prophecies. So the Mosai uh, 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 prophecies are going forth, okay? There's nothing going to be able to stop it. None shall want her mate, for my mouth had commanded it. So like my mouth had commanded, and his spirit hath gathered them. So hey, I brought that scripture just to show you that, you know, no one of these shall fail. That's the time we're living in. The most high prophecy is going forward. Don't 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 don't, don't matter. It doesn't matter what happens. Most words is, is going forward. Okay? 
you know, what it says in the book of, um, uh, uh, um, let me get that real quick. Isaiah chapter uh, 55 and verse 11. The most high word don't return back to him void. All right? You know, the most high, the most high word doesn't turn back to him void. So let's get that real quick. See, because these are the times that we're in, man. These are the times that we're in. All right? This is Isaiah chapter 55 and verse 11 and it says so shall my word be right that goeth forth out of my mouth it shall not return unto me void but it shall accomplish that which I please and, shall, and it shall prosper in the thing whereto I sent it Okay, so this prophecy is going forward, man. Doesn't matter what happens, you know. The scriptures tell you, say, First uh, Thessalonians chapter five and verse three, and when they shall say, "Peace and safety," then sudden destruction coming upon them like woman in travail, and they shall not escape. So they keep talking about peace, peace, like they think everything is going back to normal. It's not going back to normal, man. You're living in your new normal. Okay? You know, you Jakes who voted for Joe Biden thinking that Joe Biden is, is a savior. He's going to save you. Uh, he's, just, he's just the opposite wing of the same bird, man. All right? He's the opposite wing of the same bird. So your savior is Yahweh Shai. You better know him or get to know him. Okay, because only him can redeem us. Alright? In the book, of, the, the book of Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 68 tells you that no man shall buy you. That word buy, that word buy means redeem. You know, that's why Malcolm X couldn't do it. Martin Luther King couldn't do it. Marcus Garvey couldn't do it. And damn sure John Master J ain't going to be able to do it. Okay? Only our Lord Yahweh Shai. Okay, Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. Alright? That's just what it is, man. Only the Lord can save us. Alright? Scripture tell you, um, Acts chapter 4 and verse 12. Right? There is no other name whereby we could be saved. Alright? As a matter of fact, let me just, um, let me grab that real quick. You know? Because there is no there is no other name whereby we can be saved, man. Alright? That's in the book of Acts, chapter 4. Uh, and verse 12, it says, Neither is there salvation in any other, for there is none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. So the name of our Savior is Yahweh Shai. Okay, he's the savior. Okay? For he shall save his people, as it says in the book of Matthew, chapter 1 and verse, you know, 21. He shall, he shall, he shall, he shall save his people. Okay? He's the savior. This is what we're looking for. You know? We hasten the, the, the coming of the day of the Lord, as it says in 2 Peter, chapter 3 and verse 12. We hasten the day of the coming of the Lord. Okay. Yeah. We hasten the coming of the uh, the day of the coming of the Lord. Yeah, because we we don't we we don't we 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 don't we don't like our lives, man, unto death. This kingdom, this is polluted, man. As it says in the book of Micah, um, two and ten, arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest. This is not our rest, man. We live under the curses. We were brought here to serve out slavery, our ancestors, okay? But a, a lot of you forget that you have people that rule over you. You forget that you're in captivity. The, the book of Baruch says, Baruch 3 and 8 says, uh, yet this day we are in our captivity and subject unto payments, okay? okay? For our reproach, Slakia, for our reproach and subject unto our payments, all right? 
for, for the iniquities that our fathers committed when they departed from the Lord, roughly paraphrasing. Okay? So you gotta get this out of your mind that this is your this is not your rest, man. This is polluted. Fluoride in the water, chemtrails in the sky, GMO in your food, you know? We're not living. This is not living. You're gonna live in the kingdom. Alright? Even though the scripture tells you Ezekiel chapter 4 and verse um, 13, I think. And let me get it. Ezekiel 4 and 13. It says, The children of Israel shall eat their bread defiled among the Gentiles. So, hey, this is not our rest, man. Things are not things are not uh, 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 set in proper order here, man. The scripture tells you, Job 9 and 24, The earth is given into the hands of the wicked, man. The earth is given into the hands of the wicked. Okay, for, for a time. So at the end of the day right now, we should be seeking the Lord, man, so we can get in our kingdom. You know, we should be seeking the Lord so we can be in our kingdom, man. That's why you want to you want to you, you ought to, to, to arise and depart. You know, the scripture tell you uh, Romans chapter um twelve and two, be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. Okay? So we we uh, uh, defile bread among the Gentiles. And our people, they just they just loving it here. They loving it. You know? <laughs> this is um, Ezekiel chapter 4 and verse 13. It says, And the Lord said, Even thus shall the children of Israel So like you. One second. Oh, man. What's hey, up, good morning. Man? Good morning. How y'all doing? All right, man. All right. Yep. Good morning, Papa. I'm going to go through security here. Uh, once again, it says, And the Lord said, Even thus shall the children of Israel, right, eat their defiled bread among the Gentiles, whether I will drive them. Okay? So that's what it is, man. We have to pay attention to what's going on. Get into these scriptures and read and understand what's happening. Our people are at the bottom because we, we transgressed against the Most High. So we're at the bottom. Okay? That's what it is, man. We transgressed against the Most High, so we're at the bottom. So we got to do what we have to do, man. Hey, so um, hopefully, hopefully this lesson was edifying. I, I reached my destination. You know, what I can say is seek the Lord. You know, Isaiah... 55 and 6. Seek the Lord while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near. Okay? That's what you have to do, man. You're going to need a hedge, a hedge of protection. You know? That's what it's going to be. The, the, the case is going to be. You want to make sure that, that you have the Lord to defend you. You know? In times of trouble. Because you have Jacob's trouble. You know? You have uh, Daniel 12 and 1 where it tells you that you know it's going to be a time of trouble such as never before since there was a nation okay that we're going to need divine intervention the Lord is going to have to send Michael the archangel to stand up for, for thy people all that are found written in the book roughly paraphrasing so it's going to be a time of trouble okay the Lord prophesied about it in the book of Matthew chapter 24 okay and um, 21 where it says it's going to be a time of trouble you know and it hadn't been a, 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 no, a time of trouble where, you know, actually, let me get it real quick, and I'll try to close up with that. Okay? Matthew chapter 24. And verse 21 and 22. It says, For then shall be great tribulation, such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time. No, nor ever shall be. And this is our Lord. Okay, Yahweh Shai is speaking this, prophesying. All right, a time of trouble. Okay, and it says, except those days should be shortened, there should no flesh be saved. So think about that. If the if the Lord don't shorten the time, there would be no flesh be saved, bro. Think about that. You're gonna need a savior in that day. Okay, it says, but for the elect's sake, for but for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened. And the elect is the elect of Israel. Okay, the Lord's people. The Lord is coming with, with, with his chariots, man. The vehicles of our salvation. To get us up out of here before those missiles come down. Okay? 
We got to be out here before the seven seals, man, before those missiles drop. Those ICBM missiles. That's going to be shot to and then to, 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 uh, to and flow to the ends of the earth. When you read the book of 2nd Ezra chapter 16 and verse 13. Okay? But I'm going to leave it there. Hopefully you are edified. I'm going to go ahead and give all honor and glory and praises unto Yahweh, by Hashim, Yahweh Shai, by Hashim, Rekakadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who taught me this truth and rule well. Salutations to the brothers out there that are laboring and pushing this truth in truth and in sincerity and in charity and risking their lives and their freedom to do so. Okay? So until the next time, Adawan Ratazah, that is to say, Lord willing, I'm going to say, Shalom.